Shift that way, move the camera. There, perfect. Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two little kids. Ah, I can't do two. I have an injured hand. Our two cats, and yeah, but first, we gotta find and buy a boat. So welcome to episode 30. 30. Of virtual boat shopping, otherwise known as V V V S. Oh my gosh! Okay, so in case you are not aware, the Great American Loop is a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States. More people summit Everest every year than complete the Great Loop. But we still want to do it. It's high adventure, low risk. We're in. You do it by using rivers, lakes, intercoastal waterways, and a little bit of ocean to. Yeah. Great history course for yeah. the kids. And we're going to teach the kids uh, American history and we're going to incorporate that into their curriculum as we're floating by. We have to find a boat. Mm -hmm. okay. Three staterooms because kids, us, and maybe a tutor. Hopefully a magical, wonderful tutor who specializes in Orton Gillingham. <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> if, you're out there, if you're out there, let us hit know. Us up. Okay, and so the boat we're looking at today is a boat that a ton of people I mean, like I keep a, I keep a list. Scott Hilbert, Dan Dolbach, Roy Harding, Barry Ness, Christopher Miller, to name a few, have recommended looking wow, at. Wow, that's a lot. Well, that was just the, when I was keeping notes. I've lost track now. But they've recommended the Beneteau Swift Trawler. The challenge is we haven't been able to find a used one here in the States. So they don't pop up often. Oh, and we also can't be any taller than 19 feet. Oh yeah. Six inches and not be deeper the draft, the boat under the water of more than, some people say six feet. Five is good. We're looking for four and a half just for that fudge factor. So the Beneteau Swift Trawler checks all the boxes. We just haven't found a good Yacht World listing that was like realistic. So in um, fact, we had to find one in Torrevieja, Spain. That how you and say this, it? Yeah. This boat's going to get me a little bit riled up because I think it might be the prettiest boat on the water Gorgeous. if you're looking for a very yachty, shippy, kind of a hatteras. Like you walk up old, to your boat yeah. and you're like, that's my boat. Yeah, but then absolutely blew it on the inside. I mean, and we've been on one, so don't think we're just doing this from pictures. We went on Sting's manager's boat. I think he's confused. No, I think no. he's confused. The other brand that we were looking at I'm that not. I think he's confused. No. Okay, so we're gonna look at this listing. We have yeah. not looked at this listing. What was the boat's name? Do you remember? It was called Silver Moon. I remember it because one of Sting's songs is Silver Moon and he was the manager of Sting. Believe me, it was a Beneteau Swift Trawler 52, okay? I was pregnant with one of our kids. Your brain wasn't working. So anyway, here it we go. Stopped working. Look how gorgeous that is. Okay, beautiful boat. In Toro Vieja, Spain. Can we just go look at it? Can we just fly and? Sure. Let's pop over, take a look. Flag of registry, the UK. So we have to do the rest of this with the British <laughs> accent. Dare you, double dog dare you. Oh, in meters. Uh -oh. LOA of 16.9 meters, a beam of 4.9 meters, Times and a dry weight of 19,000 kilograms. So it's really not a very beamy boat. No, it's not beamy. I'm telling you, this boat loses it in so many ways, but it wins on the looks category. All right, it's got a Volvo so D9. It, it, meets, it meets our height and depth requirements. 2,000 liters of fuel. <laughs> Happens three, heads two. All right, let's look. Okay, so this, what I think you love about this, this has the looks of a trawler, which you are obsessed with and you love. What we like about it and why I think people have recommended it is because it's a swift trawler. Yeah. Meaning it's Well, and Beneteau swift. went real big into the loop with the uh, swift trawler 42 or 43, and they actually gave someone a boat to do the loop. Really? Yeah, they marketed this boat on the loop. So they're committed to the okay, loop. Okay, so according to our friends who make comments in our videos, they can go up to 20 knots and the hinges are typically arched, so the air height is not a concern. Mm -hmm. Actually, you talked about looks. This is actually like a PT uh, military boat look, which is a pretty cool I look. I think it's pretty. Okay, let's look. So we agree, we like the exterior. What I think is cool, they actually put teak on the outside here, a teak appointment. It's got the stainless steel windows. It's got a little port light. It's got covered, a full covered walkway. All right, so that's great. Mm -hmm. I love the this the gray. The gray is kind of military. I don't know. It's just mm -hmm. beautiful. All right, you've got a passerelle. passerelle. I love those. Which is kind of weird because it's a passerelle going through. It's like a a U.S. European boat. You've got a swim platform. No vessel name. Interesting. Or they marked it, it out. It was swiped. 
It's kind of oh, like Tiger they, Woods. They shopped it. He he covers his boat's name in Pretty the soon. marina. All right, so you Pretty have. It just gets covered, so you don't know what it is. You have aft area yeah. here, but you don't have a dining room table. Sorry, you Tiger, I just spoiled your secrets. So you have seating, you don't have any dining. Okay, and you can't put it there unless you put it on the lazarette or engine room door there. It needs a little. Zhuzh. That's I awesome. Love that. Just that little. Gorgeous. Lateral, it's like an Instagram this window. worthy. Yeah. Of a no, the whole boat on the outside looks like a catalog. Yeah. Think of the photo shoots for future product lines we could have there. So safe. It's like a mini Titanic. I mean, all the send to be shots. Lumar okay, uh, warping painting, winch. It'd be good painting space. Mark is an artist and he will continue to paint commissions along the loop, so there you have it. Yep. Little apron window here, half opening. Amazing bow. Beautiful. Gorgeous. SeaWorld bow sprit. I don't like SeaWorld. Dolphin. Oh, dolphin viewing. Yes, dolphin viewing. SeaWorld has, you know, mixed connotations. You got a bench here. What kind of bow is that? Right here? What's that? Oh, that's Portuguese bow. Yeah. Sorry, I was like, it's a bow bow? Oh. Pilot house door. Even this is covered. So rainy day up okay, in Canada. So exterior, love it. Check, 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 check. But there's no seating up on Screen the bow. Screen door. Yeah, there was. I showed you the bench Oh, okay, right yeah, there. sorry. Two anchors, oh, dual anchor set up. ground tackle. Okay. Chain locker, seating. Man, you could almost put a table up there. Portuguese bow there. with seating and a hatch. Win, 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 win. That's nice. Flybridge. Good tender storage. Can, why don't we just skip the loop and go move to Europe and do the med? Table. I'm, I'm, I'm only partially joking. Uh, hey. All right. It's got the electronics of the time. This was the Raymarine, like, latest and greatest. Okay. Bow thruster, autopilot. I don't know what that little what thing is, that? is. Okay, but I mean, not a ton of seating, but everybody's right there. Yeah. Intimate seating. Looks like this is out of a Porsche, like a Carrera or it something. It does. Looks like you're gonna be snug. Okay, we got a grill. With a heat shield. Heat shield. Bar fridge. Very lifeboat. Lovely. Okay, here's where you start to lose, I think, Beneteau. Beneteau, historically, sailboat makers. They couldn't get out of their sailboat mind to build a motor yacht, is what I'm thinking. I love this. I don't know where you're... But it was really narrow. This is photographical trickery. This is really narrow. And these seats built in here, and everything was hard and square and not soft, from what I remember. To which we can add carpet. Okay, look, pillows. that is not big. That's the width of the table. It's, that's one width of a person through here. Okay. Photographical. It wasn't that wide. <laughs> Telling you, but it has beautiful look. The handrails up there, and then there's the galley right here. It's gorgeous. The it's seats kind of shimmy into that little place. I feel like this owner could be an artist too. Ooh, and it's got a gigantic coffee maker. Oh, I like their Europe. priorities. These are Europeans. Okay. It has a nice shelf here. Do we have? I need it. Okay, better inside shot of the galley. Okay. And apparently there's some big deal about how narrow these are for the classification of boats. I don't think this was a class E, but anyway, they were able to make, rather than these huge, thick pillars, pillars they were able to make it skinny for and that's a big visibility. Deal. Okay, that's pretty. Big destroyer wheel. Usually they're wrapped in rope from the pictures I've seen. Maybe not the Spanish versions. Twin Raymarine. I need more of the galley, please. I feel like we're back up on the flybridge now, or are we no, still? No, this is okay. the inside helm. It's still on the inside helm. Looks like a fancy chair. All right, this is a great pilot house. Yeah? I think you're confused, Mark. No, nope, I'm not. <laughs> I like this. I'm going to go back through our pictures. We didn't have a picture on it because we were uncomfortable with taking a picture of Sting's on. manager's boat. How do I remember all that detail? <laughs> you're saying I got the wrong boat in mind. Okay, you come down. That's nice, right? I, uh, there's nothing I don't like about this boat, except the fact it's in Spain. You just put it on a transport ship. I love this window. The window in the window is really cool. On both sides. It's a little bit of a tight potty, if that's the master. European boats. Read all the comments. Have, they're not great at galleys and they're not great at heads. Well, we haven't even seen the galley, but that rooms. one. I mean, that's a tiny. It's a tiny head for the size of that master. 
<laughs> I mean, like, there's this no... This is a sailboat, there's okay? There's no countertop space. That's a sailboat head. That's a... I mean, that, the lack of countertop space is, is a challenge for me. Okay, V-Birth. Okay. That's fun. That is fun. I like the little ladder. Seems to be a hanging locker there. Yeah, they would love that. Okay, so, yeah, there's where your table should be. one picture of the galley. I don't know if it has a refrigerator, a dishwasher, an <laughs> Wait oven. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Uh, I guess they just stuck something there. Is there a wrench hanging there? Okay. I could, Looks I dry. could live on this for a year. Sign me up. I do, I do get your point that the living space seems... Oh, That's but it's gorgeous. So gorgeous. I would be so happy walking back to that. Yeah, this is it. That's in my boat. <laughs> Can you do it with it? I thought you were supposed to be in an English accent this whole time. That's my boat right there. All right, wait. If I can find another one, here's one in Turkey. Plus, they're $400,000. I really like this boat. Thank you to all of you who recommended it. All right, this one's it. in Turkey. Gorgeous. This one's white on white with the T. Okay, there's the master again. Very European with the two. Mm hmm. There's the V berth. Those are sailboat bathrooms, you're right. I, I mean, I like that we have all the imagery right there. There's the head or upper helm. Come on, where's your galley? I like that leather color. All right, let's see if we can, if there's no photographical trickery here. Seriously, people? If I need a good name for my boat listing consulting company. Cinda's B C B L. There's one more try. This one is in Mare Adriaco. Ooh, is that a navy hole in, in Italia? Okay. All we, all we want is a picture of the galley. People. This one has no teak on it. Oh, well, that's sad. Oh yeah, it does. It doesn't have it on the bow. It's got it on the side. That's weird space back there that no one's got a table going or. Okay. Oh. Okay. See, that looks tight right there. And Thank I think, you. But that's only because it's got the runner of carpet through the center. But you don't have a, this is your dining room. This is your dining area and your sofa. But does it have blue butterflies on it? I don't know. But this is a 50 foot boat and look, that's, that's your living space. Half of it's the galley. But I need to see the galley. Let me see the galley. Never mind. that's why we bicker. Okay. Look. Keep going. Looks like there's a dishwasher. I think this Do may be one of those picture? little European. Di that's a dishwasher. Where's really? That but then what's that? That's a dishwasher. Oh, okay. Or where's the wa where's their? Okay. Here's your storage. Storage, storage. So bottom line is, it's beautiful. It might not have as good a space as we need for our year of living on the loop. So I give it a definite maybe. What do you give it, Mark? Well, uh, if there were one existing, I would go and look at it, and then get on it. I would get on it, and you would say this is way too small. Maybe he's <laughs> wrong. Maybe he's right. We'll never know. But it's on the definite maybe list. So thank you for watching and tuning this. in. Look and at that one. We love all your comments and suggestions. They keep us laughing and occasionally crying. And so we satisfy the curiosity by what six or seven people. Oh, there's more, there's one. way more than that. But those are the ones that that stood out. So thank you for the suggestions and please like and subscribe to follow along on our adventure once. We're